On May 2, 2008, the Wenchuan earthquake occurred in Sichuan. This time was the beginning of our first class in the afternoon. When we started taking first class, the building shocked violently. Our math teacher came to the classroom and told us it was an earthquake. We saw the shaking of the building, felt the shaking of the ground, and even saw debris falling from the surface of the building. Fortunately, none of us were injured. However, thousands of people died in Wenchuan, which was in the epicenter. Many buildings collapsed completely within a few seconds. Many victims were buried in the rubble in this way. So, what is the reason of this earthquake? The Wenchuan earthquake was an um, 8 magnitude. It occurred on May 12, 2008. The epic center of earthquake was located in Wenchuan County, Sichuan Province. The main cause of earthquake was the force caused by the plate collision. The northward movement of the Indian Ocean plate puts pressure on the Ural plants and caused a rapidly uplift of the Qinghai and the Tibet plateau. In addition, the inside of the Qinghai Tibet plateau, due to the gravity along the Longman Mountain, is gradually sinking. Therefore, the tectonic stress energy gathered by the crustal material accumulated for a long time. And the final pressure was suddenly released in the Beichuan to insert area of the Longman Mountain. This causes thrust, dextro, and extruded fault earthquakes. The human impact of this earthquake was also devastating. The earthquake caused approximately 19,000 people dead or missing, which include more than 5,000 children, because they were having class when the earthquake happened. They, don't have, they didn't have time to evacuate to safe places. Additionally, other disasters such as landslides, debris flow, also made nearly 375,000 people injured. Millions of people became homeless because of this earthquake. The collapse caused by the earthquake made a big effect on the main river. The vegetation around the main river, which is red in this picture, disappeared due to the landslide caused by the earthquake. As a result, a lot of land and rocks are exposed. Moreover, the absence of vegetation caused soil erosion. The water conservation function, soil conservation function, and biodiversity maintenance function of the disaster area were seriously damaged. At the same time, the earthquake formed 34 landslide dams. Some of them were really dangerous. They may suddenly crash and cause flood. Because more than 90% of casualties in this earthquake was caused by building collapses. So after the Chinese government studied the earthquake, it drained a series of seismic requirements for buildings. For example, a small degree of earthquake, the building will not be damaged. After the moderate degree of uh, earthquake, the building can be repaired. And the large degree of the earthquake, the building will not fall. And there are higher requirements for a number of public places, especially schools. This makes the schools the safest place to be. After the earthquake, the Chinese government has also spread knowledge of earthquake prevention throughout the country. In schools, for example, students are regularly taught how to survive earthquakes. I think these lessons will make people better prepared when an earthquake strikes. This video is from an earthquake escape trial at a Chinese middle school. I've doubled the speed of the video. In fact, it took about a minute for all the students to escape to safety. I believe that every Chinese student has experienced this kind of escape trial. And I also believe that it will be of great use to students.